just tell tell me about you know some of the characters in the woman tells and like <laughs> would your friends like instantly recognize that you're sort of um, embellishing their personal story or not I think uh, friends, family, you know, maybe even my, you know, my spouse would look at it and, and could say um, that is them. You might even read it and say, you know, hey, I can relate to this. The way I wrote the characters is that it's just everyday uh, life, everyday things that could happen in a relationship. You know, although that they, uh, the characters are embellished and the things that I write about in it um, are embellished, you know, there are a lot of, um, there are scenes where they're being intimate. There are scenes where there's arguments. There are scenes where, um, take for instance, the other woman. You know, many times uh, we look at the other woman as she's a bad person, she's a homewrecker, she's this, she's that. You know, but the way I wrote her character is that I wanted to go to the, the background of who she was and how she got to be and how she chose made that choice to do what she did. And so you kind of, I mean, although you know, being, you know, like breaking up someone's home is never looked at in a positive light. I, uh, the way I shine the light on her is that you kind of see where she's coming from and what led her to do what she did. And I do that with her character. I do it with uh, basically every character, including there's another man. You kind of, it, it talks, you know, he talked, I talked through his character to say how he did what he did or how he was like, you know, um, what made him feel like what he was doing was right or whatever. So I kind of like give them a little bit light and put a little bit of a twist on how they think. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it seems like, especially with like all of these um, particular parts, as far as the other man, the other woman, the baby mama, the husband, the ex-wife, like there are, there are just a group of people that are yearning to be loved properly, but they can't find it in one person. Um, I just speak on, I guess, the difficulties in maintaining, you know, a happy home with just two people and not letting all of the interference sort of infiltrate and cause destruction. That, that can be easy or it can, can be destructive. Um, I think uh, maneuvering and, and trying to have a successful relationship, I think it starts with you yourself. You've got to work out your inner self. I, you know, you've got to love yourself. You've got to be that person that know what you want, know what makes you happy, and know um, how to be loved, how you want to be loved, and love yourself. You can't. I don't feel that you can give to another person until you, you, you know, like make sure that home is correct, meaning that your 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 inner self, yourself. Uh, with that being said, there is a uh, a a take and a give type of situation. Everything can't be about you when you're with another person and everything can't be about them because somebody, when, when it's all one-sided, somebody is going to feel left out. And that means that somebody is feeling, you know, like, you know, I, uh, I'm not happy. And mm -hmm. to me, I feel like that is the thing that makes people entertain things that can be destructive to the relationship when you're not being, you know, like, Two, it's like you're, you know, being one. You're, you're looking at the other one, and you're taking each other's feelings in, uh, into consideration.